Hey guys, Apple Tech Vids here, coming at you with a new video. So, you've probably all heard of uh, White Door custom firmware for your non-supported, iOS 5 non-supported devices. iPod Touch 1G, 2G, iPhone 2G, 3G. You've all heard it. Um, and you've known of their features, they're pretty awesome. But now I'm here to tell you that there is a way to get those features without having to install the firmware. All you have to have is a jailbroken device, Cydia, an internet connection, and two sources I'm about to give you. So, basically in this video you will be receiving home screen wallpapers, multitasking, folders, iMessage, which is very in beta, it sucks, but it has the icon and makes it look like an iOS device, iCloud, which uses data deposit from Cydia, and Dropbox from the App Store. Newsstand, white door news and stuff, and then reminders, which is not fully capable, but still really good. So, yeah. Now we just have to wait for our city to load, and then we can get started. Sorry for the slowness. It's just this iPod doesn't work that well. Okay, so I'm just gonna cancel that. Now, once City is all loaded and opened, um, go to Manage Sources. And add these two sources, cydia.myrepospace.com slash capital B, lowercase a, capital R, capital T, and cydia.myrepospace.com slash iWorldTouch. So there's the iWorldTouch. There's the BART. Now once it's supposed to start, go into the BART repo. Scroll down to R, and install reminders. Unfortunately, it's only for iOS 3, but... If you find something in Google, by typing in my repo space reminders iOS 4, you may come up with some luck. It'll tell you which repo to add, then you'll be good. Yeah. Then, you're going to add into iWorld Touch, iCloud, iMessage, everything except iOS 5 wallpapers and video. Now, I will be right back. So, uh, yeah, be right back. Alright guys, um, now, as you can see I have home screen wallpapers. To change that on iOS 3, go to settings. Now, if you don't have like a prefer extended preferences thing, yours will be in general, wallpaper. Now I just have a shortcut right here. Then you'll get to this screen. Don't worry, it's supposed to look like this. Then go to save photos or wallpaper and choose your picture. Uh, let's go with this one. Press set and home screen. You know, it takes a little while and then it goes back to the where, uh, general for you guys. Um, now you can see it changes. It works just fine. Here's the multitasking. Now I have nothing running, but here's the iPod controls and portrait orientation. And if you slide this way till you see three lines of text, double tap here to respring. It's a great feature. Here's the folders, as you can see. Works every way iOS 4 folders should work. Great features. 
So here's iMessage. It'll have the met messages title, the icon. It looks perfect on the home screen. But um it's really stupid because you have to have a username. I'll just put in Apple Tech Vids. And press return. And you see the screen it looks fine, but press this. You have nobody to talk to, so you just type in random stuff. It's not that good. And then you go back, try to open the chat room again, it disappears. Plus, it doesn't do anything. Because you can't select chat room, because it disappears as soon as you touch it. So, not the best one, but it just started. It's still way in beta, so. Hopefully in the future it'll be much better. Hopefully it'll turn to actual iMessage, so that'd be awesome. Next is iCloud. Now, once you have all the stuff installed, Data Deposit, Dropbox, Data Deposit, Cydia, Dropbox, App Store. Now here's my Data Deposit, or iCloud. And it looks just like, uh, has an iCloud icon, as soon as it loads. There you go. And then you can... What you can do is back up all your apps of data. Now, this is a really great, great program. It just, uh, because if you get a new device, you just have to install Data Deposit in Dropbox. Uh, that's pretty much it. It's great. Now, um, next is Newsstand. All it has is White Door News, but it's still really cool. It's still really awesome, so that's good. And last but not least, reminders. Now, I'll tell you, I'll just, this is like the about screen. And what is new it has notifications. Set a notification, just tap here, type something random, and press return. Now, to make, uh, make it done, press the check mark, and that's it. Now, you can't swipe to, these dots are non functional can't swipe and to get rid of this because even every time you press the same check mark it adds completed to it so just press the plus to reset it this does work but you can't set any new ones you can just press edit and then type something in and press edit and there you go can't actually search for reminders which sucks but that's pretty much it so Thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe. Do whatever. Uh, find any uh, comments um, on different things I could uh, show you guys. Please do, because I'm sort of running out of ideas now. Um, rate if you thought this video was quite handy, and subscribe if you think my videos are good and uh, you want to see more. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.